Okay, uh, let's just start, start with the positives then, I guess, sort of what you take from that in a, in a positive way today. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, we got one nil up. I thought we started the game very, very well. And I think, um, yeah, we could have been a couple up inside three or four minutes. I think we started the game great. Uh, we obviously got the goal to a uh, great finish from Matt Patterson to put us one nil up. Um, and then I just felt they were there for the taking a little bit then. And um, I was just a bit disappointed that we didn't really try and, try and turn the screw and get that really push for that second because I felt that though there was an opportunity to do that. I think their manager then made a good decision and changed, obviously made a substitution and changed their shape, which we struggled to deal with for 20 minutes. And they finished the... Um, finished the first half a lot stronger but I thought we uh, we were yeah, certainly in control of the game for the first 20-25 minutes of the first half and then they sort of came back into it but again we're just um, disappointing with the, the timing of the fir fir their first goal I mean we just wanted to try and get in at half time to recoup and we can see the penalty again with one two minutes to go and you know those little details again aren't sort of uh, aren't going for us at the moment you know that's a poor time to concede the the, the, uh, the first goal I thought it was a penalty but um, you know looked it looked it to be so uh, you know we conceded that one just before half time then I thought second half you know again there was uh, it was a pretty even game I felt where we uh, where we lacked a little bit today was um, we had the ball in so many good positions in terms of attacking opportunities and in and around their box and we never got enough end product in terms of having a shot at goal in terms of a, a decent cross or a so what happened was we kept giving the ball away high up the pitch and we're spread because we're attacking and then of course they're hitting us on the transition a little bit but if we are better with the ball in the final third we don't look as so open so we're not getting enough end product from all of our play and that was our problem today I didn't think that we were terrible or totally outclassed or you know miles and miles off of it but at the moment we are in a little bit of a rut where every little mistake and that we, we keep making seems to be getting punished and it will do at this level but you know, there's no point uh, getting personal with people or, you know, put, having a blame culture. We, the only way we're going to get out of this sort of little rut we're in at the moment, because we are we are in a little rut, you know, we've lost uh, three games, sorry, uh, I think that's only one win in the last five games or something like that, you know. So we are in a little bit of a rut there, uh, but we've just got to stick together and we've got to keep working hard. I do believe we have got good players in that dressing room. You know, I look at the players, we've got some good experience, we've got players that have played at a higher level. Um, but we are a little bit thin at the moment in terms of the squad. We've got key players missing and we haven't got a big enough squad to deal with the likes of Lee Henderson missing, Freddie Grant missing, Mo Fofana missing, uh, um, Justin Bennett, sort of that was his first 15 minutes of the season. Um, so we, we are sort of, you know, and in the end we're sort of bringing on young lads from the youth team that you know, good potential, Craig, but perhaps needs a little bit more time. And you know, we've got our Ezra and Horatio that you know again are only 18 years of age. So we haven't got the massive depth in our squad of somebody like a Chelmsford who have got like two good players for every single position. And when we're missing the key players like we were today, you know, we, we, we you know we're at full tilt to try and uh, go. But like I say, um, all we can do is stick together. We've got to keep working. We certainly won't get out of it if we all start, you know, turning on each other and that type of stuff. So um, we've just got to keep going is the message, really. And um, we just, I know it sounds like a cliche, but we've just got to try and, um, you know, even if we get like a lucky 1-0 win or something like that, just to settle people down a little bit. Because, um, like I say, everybody's judgment it will always be on the result. But I think if you look at that game, you know, analytically, there was lots and lots of plus points for us and probably, you know, I don't know, maybe in my opinion, I don't know if we deserve to win the game, but I don't think we really deserve to sort of get beat. Um, you know, so maybe a draw, but uh, yeah, just to summarise, I thought started the game great. We didn't turn the screw enough to get that second goal where they were there for the taking. And then I thought second half was a bit even and the second goal that we conceded from our own free kick, we tried it to play short. We give the ball away on the edge of our, you know, attacking on the edge of their box, and um, then about 12, 13 seconds later, the ball's in the back of our net. So that's our free kick that that's come from. And if you do make silly mistakes like that at this level, you do get punished. Um, so that's where we are. Um, you know, it makes us more determined to get it right, more determined to keep going. You know, if it was as simple as sort of, uh, you know, sticking 17, 18 players together and uh, away we go, then, you know, it, it, you know, that's the challenge we've got to try and work on. But um, everyone's got to stick together and uh, that's the only thing we can do. In terms of um, Zach McKecker and the reason for him coming off? Yeah, unfortunately, Zach sort of phoned me about 11 o'clock this morning and just saying that he wasn't feeling at all well. 
um, we tried to sort of, you know, get him to, to get out there for us because he's a key player. Um, and just at half time, he was complaining that he really was struggling with his chest. He couldn't breathe very well. And we just sort of felt, look, if he's not right, he's not right. So that certainly doesn't help us, you know, because arguably Zach, you know, certainly been our, one of our best players this season. So we have to take him off at half time. You know, we, as I said, we're missing Lee Henderson, Mo Fafana, Freddie Grant, you know, so, and it's not, you know, excuses, but that is just a fact, you know, and uh, with the sort of, um, you know, we was only able to sort of have four four subs today, and um, two of those were sort of teenagers. Uh, sorry, three were Jordan and Garth at 19. So yeah, that's where we are at the moment. Um, you know, the emotions are running high in the dressing room there. Um, you know, we the lads, uh, they know. I mean, as I say, we've got experienced players. It's just not quite happening for us at the moment. Um, we're getting punished for every sort of little mistake, and. Um, We've just got to keep really honest, keep working hard, and hopefully it will turn out for us. And if we keep believing, I'm sure it will. Because I'll say it again, I do believe we have some good players. And last question for me, just start, you know, Bath on uh, in, in the week, they drew with Welling today. How do you turn it round that quickly and get these guys thinking positively? Yeah, well, hope, well the good news is Freddie Grant will be back. Uh, so we should be bringing one other player in on Monday as well to strengthen us. Um, I think Mo Fafana, the game will be too quick for him, but we, you know, Justin Bennett may be able to get some minutes again. We need to get, obviously, Justin going. So, a couple of players back. Um, it's always a tough place to go, Bath, you know, particularly midweek. You know, it's a never easy place to go there. But um, I'm sure it will be a tight game again, and it will be sort of won or lost with fine margins, no doubt. Um, so, never easy to go to Bath. And then we've got the next game after that is East Star, who are absolutely flying, you know, at the moment. Credit to them, they're an unbelievable start, you know, great uh, job that their manager John Coventry is doing. So, two tough games coming up, um, but the only way we're going to get out of it is by working as hard as we can, by sticking together, and by keep believing. And then we've got to hope that, um, you know, a little bit of luck will sort of go with us and, um, you know, we'll be able to turn the corner. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. All right, Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.